Hello teachers and friends, welcome to another video. Um, today's video is going to be a, the I teach to tag. I was tagged by Detroit Teacher Life and it's basically just um, a bunch of questions that I'm going to answer. So let's get right into the video. Question number one is what do I teach and where do I teach? So I teach fifth grade. Last year I taught all the subjects. This year we're teaming and I'm going to be teaching um, ELA and social studies, so that's very exciting. And I teach in the Florida Keys. Question number two, how long have you been teaching? Um, so I've only been teaching one full year. Uh, I just finished my first year teaching ever. So that's pretty exciting. Nice to get that out of the way and very excited for what's gonna be happening next year. Question number three, did I always know that I wanted to be a teacher? Well, the, so the answer is no. Um, when I was younger, I, do, I did play teacher a lot when I thought it was fun, but for some reason I just never thought of it as a career option. And even when I started um, college, I, was, um, I had a, was going for psychology. And then after a year, I took a break to kind of reflect on where I was going um, in college and in life. And then um, it was with discussion with my mom that she told me to consider teaching because I knew I wanted to work with children, but I was just kind of stuck in where. And so I started my teaching program and fell in love with it from there. Question number four, what is my typical outfit of the day? So um, I do my best to just keep it simple and wear just like dresses and flats or dresses and sandals. But um, if I'm not wearing a dress and sandals, I'm simply wearing some like skinny leg um, pants, either black pants or with a like a fun like toned down pattern. Like um, I have one that's like blue with little white polka dots, or you know some little fun design to a pants, and just like a nice top to go with it. Keep it simple and easy. Just grab a pant, grab a top, and I'm good to go. Question number five is what do I usually bring for lunch? So honestly, I am the worst at this. I always forget to pack my lunch the night before, but really it's usually leftovers from dinner. It's just easier that way. And if it's not a leftover, it's a salad. Um, I don't really like salads, but sometimes it's just easier and I just throw a salad in my lunchbox and that's it. But the majority of the time, it's last night's dinner. Question number six, what is my favorite book about teaching? So my favorite book is called Nobody Don't Love Nobody by Stacey Vess. And this, it's just such a great book. Um, it's about a teacher who, um, who really needed a job and she accepted a job teaching in a homeless shelter. And um, it's just, her story is just amazing. Her dedication to these students in the shelter is amazing. And you just hear about these stories that honestly make you wanna cry about what the, the kids are going through in her class. And um, the change that she impacts on this school with no name, because the school doesn't even have a name that's inside the shelter, it's just phenomenal. It's my favorite book and um, it's just so inspiring. Question number seven, what is my favorite teacher movie? So honestly, it's um, Freedom Riders. I just love that book. You know, um, Hilary Swank's character is just amazing in that movie. And you know, it just really shows how, how um, the relationship between teachers and students and how there needs to be respect on both sides in order for you to really um, be able to reach your students, especially the students that were going through the things that, that they were going through in that movie. Question number eight is who was my favorite teacher? Now, to be honest, um, I can't recall one teacher that was absolutely amazing that I would say, oh my gosh, this is my favorite teacher. I honestly had a really positive experience all throughout school. There's really only one teacher I can say that I had that I did not like. Um, but throughout my whole experience, I just had really great teachers. And, you know, that's pretty much it. I don't, I can't say that I had one favorite, you know, really amazing, outstanding teacher that I remember. Question number nine, who are some of my favorite um, teachers on social media? 
Um, so really, I only follow other teachers on YouTube. And um, right now, my favorites are The Lettered Classroom. I watch a lot of her videos, um, Pocket Full of Primary. Those are the three that I watch a lot, and I really enjoy them. And I think they've all, most of them have done this tag already. Question number 10, what is um, my best classroom management tip? Um, so my number one best tip is if you set any rules or procedures or anything like that, which you will, but um, let's say there's a consequence for something, you need to make sure you go through with it every time, all the time. Because if you don't and you miss it, your students will notice and they will think like, well, you know, Susie didn't do what she's supposed to do and Miss Stewart didn't do anything about it. So why do I care about this rule of procedure? So if you are going to have you know, consequences for these rules and procedures, you need to make sure you go through them every single time. And the last question, question number 11, is what really made me want to become a teacher? So um, throughout my whole life, I always knew that I wanted to work with kids, but I just didn't know what aspect. And then once I had experienced that relationship that you get with your students and um, that interaction that you get with them and just the overall feeling that you get when a student understands something that you taught them, it's just so amazing and all of that combination of things is really why I became a teacher. So once I was in the field, you know, during my internship and things like that and doing observations is when I really fell in love with teaching and knew that it was what I wanted to do. So that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you all very soon. Bye.